Today we are talking about pharmacy and grade 12s. Welcome to a corner channel. Hello guys, welcome back to your channel. I'm Ikamang Akona Loliwe. If you are new to this channel, you're welcome and please don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And for those of you who have already subscribed, thank you guys. I do appreciate you so much. So Namsanja, as I said, we're gonna be discussing e pharmacy and um our grade 12 learners. So I'm gonna be answering um e questions that I think if men whom found the grade 12, I would be actually interested in um to knowing let's get into it one subject so if you want to do pharmacy these are the subject that you must do from high school life sciences maths pure maths not maths lit and physical science those are the major three subjects that you need and on top you must have or you must do english minimum requirements minimum requirements they differ from each universities UKZN, UWC, University of the Western Cape, Limpompo University, VET University, Rhodes, and NNMU. That's where you can actually study in a pharmacy. So, a minimum, there are minimum requirements, they differ. But what I would advise you is that at least, at least try and get 70s because if you are starting to get Madoda score or Madoda scores, it's 50% forget about pharmacy and even that 70 percent doesn't warrant you that you're gonna get e acceptance into pharmacy because there are a lot of application there are a lot of people with a's with 90s who are applying for the course so depending on the influx of application so even with your 70s you might not make the cut which brings us to the third question so if i don't make make the cut what are my options or oh, must i just throw the towel no there's always a, a way around even if you're not applying for a pharmacy like maybe in medicine so what you must do just put a pharmacy because i think they give you three or four options apply for a pharmacy as your first choice and then make your first choice um a science-based um career um or oh, health related oh yes so maybe like nursing your biotechnology your bsc and make your sec your, your third choice my maybe science based or health based you can maybe say pharmacy or if you apply for medicine say medicine and then your nursing because i feel like in my nursing i think they require 60 50 I, I don't know and then your bsc so that if they don't take you on a second or on the on the first choice they don't choose you for your first choice they maybe you might you might get um lucky and get chosen for a second if they don't then so then you will fail you know so that when you get a university your first year or your first semester you study so hard so that you get good marks and then on your second semester or and then you switch to a pharmacy right so if our tatanga do not be disheartened or, or get so somber there is a way around funding with pharmacy you've get different options when it comes to scholarships and bursary you've got bursaries from department of a department of health you can kwazul natal eastern cape all the nine provinces they've got bursaries from all department of health depending on where you are from so the only thing they are requiring is an applicant application from disadvantaged background get at least 60 percent from your if you are doing e in my trick and then be south african citizen or and you must be residing from that province that's all they require and then after you've um finished your degree you must be willing to go back and serve if back from say for four years so that means you're gonna be if back, for instance when a say eastern cape that means you're gonna be working for department of health eastern cape for that four years right and then apart from that there are also passaries from different institutions like your retails and public hospitals 
private hospitals or net care they've got bursaries or clicks retail um discam and medirate and but i think their major requirement is for you at least to have 60 percent they don't care about your background and stuff so that means you've got um many options to choose from so those are your bursaries so you can actually go into different sites maybe right in a site to the corner go under career they're gonna tell you but this is what you are this is what we are looking for even with um the public sectors or the doh bursaries you can always go under a site tower and check uh number i don't remember number i don't remember and so now there's a pimple oh how do i know that um i am ready to study pharmacy or pharmacy is for me right so these are the traits or characters that you must possess in order to pursue a career in pharmacy you must be um detail oriented check details in pharmacy they count even that will cost someone's life and that will cost to you your four years that will cost to your career you cannot afford to make mistakes in pharmacy even the smallest 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 mistake you can actually um harm your patient so big details no no big be be detail orientated and two you must be good in maths i'm not gonna say love maths because i i hated maths i hated maths from primary but i did very well you know in it i still don't like it but i was good in it so be you must be very good in maths because in pharmacy you count you count from varsity you calculate you count they're gonna tell you your pharmaceutics your you 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 count and no figure you count dosages you count patients weight you count you just count you're dealing with numbers you're dealing with numbers in pharmacy and you go to retail you deal with numbers you deal there's um business side of things so you must you must you must be very good in mathematics and the accountability you must be someone who's accountable because 80 percent of um pharmacy graduates they end up being um pharmacy managers where you're actually running a very big um department your manufacturer where you can actually not afford to make any mistake you know you mess up a bash you know and then you are finished so you must be someone who's willing who's um able to take it out even you must be someone who's very accountable you know you're gonna be having like a band over pete you like he and other pharmacy personnel under you you know so you're gonna be accountable if your your assistant make a mistake they're not gonna be dealing with your assistant they're gonna be dealing with you so you must be very um you must be able to be accountable and take responsibility like i said and then also you must be willing to work under pressure because you're working with different people especially in hospital they're dealing with um doctors who are calling and asking isn't though you know and now you have to call and confirm isn't there with doctors you've got nurses about telling daniel pharmacist we want this you know there are orders from you what you have to order isn't though you've got patients who are like screaming at you and everything you've got meetings like there's so much you must be willing you know actually even if you are working in retail you must be someone who's um willing to work under pressures otherwise if you are not that someone you're gonna be depressed and you're gonna be crushing right and also patients patients patient you're gonna be dealing with different um patients who are condescending who are angry who are mean you know and you who are impatient you must be someone who is actually um willing to actually work with those um type of patient and yeah and then you must be yeah i think that's all that's all guys um if you have any other question please ask me down the comment section and thank you guys and all the best god bless Mwah.